What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. Jim Webb, back in the news. My man, Jim. You know what? Be honest. Um, during that, you know, the, 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 the election, well, the Democratic process for the election that was handed to Hillary Clinton as they railroaded Bernie Sanders. I had my eye on Jim Webb. You know, I was like, my people I would vote for, I was, it was coming down to, this was initially started, I was like, I like Rand, I like Trump, then Webb. That's the people I was like, man, I'd vote for, I'd vote for any of those three. Because you don't never know who was going to make the, the nominations, you know what I mean? But if it came to the, um, you know, the Democratic nomination and stuff like that, I was going to like, yeah, I'm pulling it for, uh, I'd have pulled it for uh, Jim Webb. You know, he didn't last long. I think one debate, and he was talking about how he killed the enemy in Vietnam. <laughs> I think everybody was taken aback, like, woo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy now they were taken aback at that, but they want to go keep our troops in Syria. You know, he was just stating it like how, he, you know, I mean, he was really in the shit, man. He was, you know what I mean? He was like, he was really in, 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 the, in the thick of things down there, you know? And, uh, but, you know, he, he values, he knows what the price to pay of our military, of our, you know, having our military uh, be deployed. You know, he's a non-interventionist. That's what I like, you know, um. Because he's actually worn a uniform. You know, the people that want the, the, our, the us to be the police of the world never put a uniform on. They never shine their boots with Kiwi. They never pressed their BDUs. They never did any of that. I know Jim has done that. You know what I'm saying? And he's done that in a, and he was in a war that, that you look back at it like we should never have fought it. Not as opposed to Mattis, where we were victorious in, in Iraq, in, a, in, in the Iraq war. But that glosses it over. You know, we weren't exactly victorious in Vietnam. So I, I like his perspective, you know. They're saying, you know, he's, he's a kid. He's, he's 72. I didn't know he was uh, that age. But they were saying he, he, him and Trump's foreign policy seem to mesh well together. And he's up for the nomination for Secretary of Defense. If Trump was, I, I would, um, you know, he was also briefly considered as a running mate in 2016 and later for his cabinet. You know, I, I think this would be a good pick. If I was Trump, I, I'd definitely pick him up. Because I think he's on the outside. You know, he's not part of the establishment, I don't think. You know, um, as you can see how he, 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 he dropped out of the Democratic race. You know, um, and I think that's what Trump needs. He needs more people to think of like him. Instead of, you know, have Mattis and all these old people are telling him who to pick. And they're like, nah, they're trying to get their agenda over. Um if his agenda is America first, then I think Jim Webb is the pick for uh, Secretary of Defense. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'll talk to you later. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Hotep's been told you every Thursday. Peace.